Hello, hello, and welcome back to Cards of Glasgow. I'm Thomas, and today you join me with the Polestar 3. Special thanks to Polestar Glasgow for loaning me this vehicle. And today I'm going to give you a first impressions and quick look at the vehicle. So this is the exterior of the Polestar 3. Up front, you can see what catches my eye is this kind of little aerodynamic front spoiler. And just below that, you're able to see all your things, like it says here, like Smart Zone Cluster. It's even got a little heated element just left of that camera there, which is going to be helpful for the winter time. Now, this colour is called Midnight, and in today's Scottish sunshine, you can see it's doing a good job of reflecting the sun, and you can see the flake in it just about there. Now, comment below what you think of the front end. I think the new Polestar design language is very clean and futuristic looking. Now this one is a launch edition, so it does come with the Pilot Plus Pack, the Pro Pack, and these beautiful 22 inch wheels, which I will give you a quick look at. Now, all the launch editions do come with these Swedish Brembo brakes, which are this gold color, which the brand is known for. You may have seen that in the Polestar 2 performance with the seat belts. Now, I love the kind of two-tone look of these rims. They are huge, and for anybody interested, we are riding on 265-40R22s. These particular ones are Pirelli. Similar fashion to what we've seen with the Polestar 2, we do have this Polestar 3 telling you the kilowatt-hour battery style, kind of in the same vein of what we've seen in Polestar 2. They kind of mimic what cameras do. With the font, this is a 111 kilowatt hour battery, so it's one of the largest for a production vehicle. I do believe there's a General Motors vehicle out there with a larger kilowatt hour battery, but this is pretty chunky for UK roads. Now down the side of the car, you're going to notice we've got this cladding with a little thin silver strip running along the side of the doors here. This kind of gives it a little bit more of a crossover SUV vibe versus maybe without it because it's not a super tall vehicle. Do you know when I seen it online, I was thinking it'd be quite a tall looking vehicle because the platform it shares with is the same as the EV90 from Volvo, but it is a little bit lower and sleeker. It's actually one of the most aerodynamic Polestars they make. It's more aerodynamic than the Polestar One, would you believe it or not? Now, if you are interested in booking a test drive, you can pause the video here and scan that little QR code. Now we move over to the rear, this is where things are looking very sleek and modern. The Polestar badge is body coloured. You can see again we've got more cameras in the back and a nice sleek spoiler up there, again help with aerodynamics. So I'm going to go ahead and open the boot little button underneath here. And the tailgate pops up. Now you're going to be greeted with a pretty large boot space in here. Now we're just going to pull this away like so. And as you can see, fairly flat and wide. It's got plenty of tie-down hooks. We've even got little bands here. On the right-hand side here, we're able to raise and lower the vehicle down for easy access. 12-volt power outlet as well. Cargo net on the left-hand side. And one of my favourite features, which we've seen in the Polestar 2, is this folds up like so. And it creates these little shopping bag hooks here, which means you can hang things down without them rolling around your rear boot, which I think is a really clever design feature. I liked it in the Polestar 2 and it is again here in the Polestar 3 and it's pretty deep as well because there's no spare tyre under here. This is just a lot of space for extra goodies. I do like things like this kind of brush trim and it aids with the premium feel of the car. The carpet as well is all nice and soft. Now it is electric so touch this button and the tailgate is going to close down. As little pace as you can see. And if I step back, you're going to get a good view of the rear free quarter of the car. You can kind of see that aerodynamic angle to the back, but don't worry, the rear space is pretty generous. So if I open the rear boot door, you're going to be greeted with nice high quality cabin materials on the door card. I like this Burles and Wilkinson little strip going across. This does have the zinc interior, so it is almost off-white kind of cement grey colour and this is like your switches here for like your windows and your door release pretty impressive large big buttons and then even the speaker grill itself is a nice design pattern to it now we do have a very flat floor as well which is nice to see in an ev and this car is fitted with the napa rather seats which 
are so beautiful to feel and I wish you could smell inside this cabin because it smells incredible and very premium. So I'm going to go ahead and jump inside the back of the car. I am 5 foot 11 so we have got plenty of knee room. As you can see we've also got this airplane style seat back. Do you know this is going to be a great family vehicle because you've got heated seats in the back, climate controls, USB-C ports, flat floor. So even in the middle here, if I can do this, I can get like three abreast. So this is going to be fine for maybe three teens, you know, carrying friends, whatever it may be. Just have flip the camera around so you can see. So in the middle seat, even with like me in the middle, it's not really perched up. I've got plenty of headroom, even with the glass roof. That's pretty impressive. Back into the outer seat. So this is the visibility from my view. You know, you've not got too much of the sea pillar intruding and you've got this vast panoramic roof, which is letting a lot of light in today. Now, shout out to Scotland because these seats are Bridge of Weir, which is only a couple of miles up the road from this filming location. But yeah, this is a really nice place to be. And look at this armrest. The detail on this is pretty impressive. And they can push these and they're your cup holders. A very premium feeling product and aesthetically designed. Even inside the armrest has got this kind of felt material here to I guess prevent any vibration noise or some rubbing. Um, yeah that's a really nice place to be and feel. So go ahead and jump out the car. This is your little switch here and pull it open. So we do have soft clothes on the Polestar 3 like so and we'll go ahead and jump inside the front of the cabin. Now, it's worth noting on this particular model, we do have speakers in the headrest with the Bowers and Wilkinson just up here. And one interesting note I've picked up on um, driving this car for about an hour so far is this is your button here for adjusting your seat. Now, it looks like one button, but it's multifunctional. And it's all connected through the screen in the middle. And just like the rear, we do have this beautifully designed Bowers and Wilkinson speaker grille a nice kind of padded material up the top with the Bowers and Wilkinson running across and you get a nice blend of materials. Everything up here feels premium high quality and it feels like a very modern vehicle inside. And I'm going to go ahead and jump inside the car. Now we can see a lovely little Polestar 4 over there just while. There we go. Now inside the cabin we're greeted with a huge infotainment screen in the middle. It is portrait style that we've seen in the Polestar 2 but this is a newer, fresher UI, a different screen. Almost Tesla-esque in some of the abilities that it does. For example things like your glove box, touch of a button on the screen and it releases it down here. Soft the damp, lines with the fuzzy stuff and really premium feeling. Even the exterior of the glove box itself is lined in this kind of venue material. It's softly damped in you know, squidgy to feel that all that's like soft to push. So this is the key card for the Polestar 3. Again, very similar to what we've seen in the Teslas. That means you can slot into your wallet without any issue. And we've got little mats here. Now I won't go through the full screen because I'll keep that for a review video when I get more time in the, to do so. But this is similar technology, as I said, what we've seen in the recent Polestar, well, not Polestar, sorry, the Tesla Model 3 performance. So you're able to adjust things like your heads-up display, your steering wheel, all like that, a touch of a button. And all you do is you just click things like your steering wheel and then you use these buttons here to adjust it. Same thing for your mirrors, same things with heads-up display. I'm able to adjust that like so. Now it's worth mentioning another Polestar trait is we do have the frameless mirrors which I liked in the Polestar 2. Again, we're seeing here in the Polestar 3. Now, overall material, very, very nice plush cabin up front, decent size central cubby here, you know, this goes quite far down, is lined with the fuzzy stuff like this kind of felt material and it's rubberized at the very bottom so nothing's going to rattle around and make a horrific noise in there. And we do even have two cup holders in here. Big volume knob is like one of the few knobs and buttons to push in here. And we do have stock, so we do have physical things for the indicators on the left and then on the right hand side your drive and you pull this down as a Polestar thing, down again for your uh, like adaptive cruise control, lane departure, etc. All turns on when you put it down into this mode here. And inside P for park. So put the foot in the brake and we can see it goes into drive. And yeah, you get a wee picture of a 
Full Star 3 up ahead. Now, the material quality, we've got a nice blend of this kind of zinc material down below, this open pool wood, and then this kind of canvas, say, texturized material across the dash. And I do like the Bowers and Wilkinson kind of tweeter up ahead there. I think that's a nice, neat touch, and quite classy looking. And we do have a really bright heads up display here. Now, I wish I could show you more when this car's out in the road, but I will get a first drive to you when I get the opportunity. But I just wanted to show this car to you because why not show you a brand new vehicle? We even got a little bit of storage under here, and that pulls out as well. Okay, so to pull in the button here, I'm just going to turn this air off for a second while we're filming. So we've got the seats up here. There's a little button on the side of the seat here. You push that in, and that allows you to adjust. Now, remember earlier on, I showed you this little square that allows you to adjust the seat in various ways. You can tilt, you can do the lumbar support, etc. As you can see, pushing that again does the sides for the seat as well. Then my favourite bit in this car is the massage. I had B on earlier on, but let's try A and let's give it a wee start. So we get a 20 minute massage. So if you are somebody that appreciates a little bit of a massage on a drive or equally maybe you're on the road a lot, you're probably going to appreciate this car. Now it is on at the moment and it feels incredible. So driving the Polestar 3 was an incredible experience. It was very comfortable off the roads, and this is just my initial drive. So I really enjoyed the suspension. It seemed to absorb the lumps and bumps of these Scottish roads pretty well. Dynamically, it was really impressive and high that curb weight of over 2,600 kilograms. You didn't really feel the weight of the car. This is the dual motor version. So 0 to 60 is an acclaimed 4.8 seconds, and we do have acclaimed 392 miles of range. Prices start just over £75,000 for the dual motor, however this one spec is just over £94,000. I will get a full review out to you when I get the chance, but stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video on the Polestar 3. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel below. Don't forget to book your test drive with Polestar Glasgow and I'll see you again. Ciao. <laughs>